Good afternoon. We are live. I think we're going to go live in two places today. So I just want to make sure that it's happening. Um, so let me look here. It's hard. I've got all my contractions. I just want to make sure. Yes, I'm live on Facebook. Now let me go over to YouTube. I finally figured out the technology. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> um, and see if I'm live here. There I am. Good. I hope you're here um, either on Facebook or um, YouTube. I don't know where the comments will be coming from. This is the first time I've done dual, dual places. I'm so excited it worked. Um, so if I don't see your comment, I apologize. I will um, answer afterwards. I'll, I'll go look through all the comments and, af and look. I don't know if I'm seeing them from both places or just for from the one. So cool. Um, I probably need another device. I've got my iPad at watching the YouTube and I need another device to watch my Facebook. Hi, Donna. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Sherry. Um, can you hear my space heater? I'll turn it off if you can hear my space heater, but I am freezing. Let me know in the comments if you can hear my space heater. It's not that cold outside. I just took my dogs out and it's really not that cold, but for some reason, do you ever have cold days? I'm having a cold day. Usually I'm having hot flash days, but today I'm having a cold day. <laughs> um, okay, so I can see Donna Pollock's commenting from Facebook. So good. Okay, so it's telling me where you're all commenting from. So I can hear see the YouTube too. Great. Um, when you train yourself on something or when you're trying to learn something, do you read all the lines? I just kind of skip through and, um, hope it all work out. And it did. I'm, I'm taping down my grid paper so we're not slip sliding away this afternoon. And then I will turn my, um, Sherry, you can't hear my space eater good. Because I am just so chilly. I wanted to grab a cup of coffee, but I forgot. Forgot to do it. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera around. I hate that my arm goes through the middle of everything when I'm trying to do my all my things. But we'll figure that out one day. <laughs> okay, if you are on my email um, list... On Tuesdays, I send out a uh, free tutorial, and sometimes with the tutorial, I send out a sketch. And so yesterday, I sent this sketch out, and then I sent out the PDF um, for the card. And this is the card. I It's the um, Share a Milkshake Bundle. And I'm hoping to make a card or two for my Galentine's um, card class with this. It will not be a Valentine card. We, you know, it'll be after Valentine's Day. So um, even though I'm calling it Galentine's, it's the same week. Hi, Carol. This is the card. Isn't that cute? Little ice cream. I just love it. Anyway, I... I created this sketch um, and then I thought and then I created the card from the sketch so today I thought I'd show you an alternate card um, that I created using the same sketch and there it is some flowers um, but anyway I was talking about my Tuesday tutorials make sure you sign up for my um, my email list and every Tuesday I send out a free um, Tutorial. They don't always include sketches, but they will include a PDF with instructions if you want to download it or print it out um, and do that. And if you create a card using this sketch, post it on my Facebook page. I would love to see it. 
Alrighty. And I'll give you grace. It doesn't have to be all Stampin' Up! stuff. But try and include at least one thing that's Stampin' Up! stuff. <laughs> Just to make me happy. Okay, this is made using the Beautifully Happy stamp set. And I wanted to use it before it went away because this is one of the celebration um, sets that you can get for free. Let me grab my celebration brochure. And I hadn't cracked it open yet to use. This is this can be had for uh, free with a $100 order. Um, here's some beautiful samples using it. That's not, a, you know, they just did the outline. So cool. Um, but anyway, I used this sketch, created this card. So let's, I'll show you how I did it. And I want to show you these beautiful stamps because how many stamps are in here? There's a gajillion. 17 stamps. They have left nothing out. We can stamp every, almost every image on here. Um, on the inside, I put the little bee and a little flower there. Um, I really enjoyed working with it. And I'm not, you know, I've said it before, I'm not real, I'm not really a flower person, but I really enjoyed this one. <clears throat> so I kind of did a monochromatic theme. Um, this is um, polished pink. And the first layer is Melon Mambo. Because on our sketch, there's several layers. Here's the card base. One, two, three, four layers, and then the embellishment. So there's quite a few layers. Now, if you were creating it, you wouldn't have to use all those layers. You know, the sketch is just a jumping off point. So this uh, Melon Mambo layer measures five and a, uh, five and a fourth by four. Okay, and then the designer series paper, look at this. This is a sneak peek. On March 1st, Stampin' Up! is going to have some online exclusives. And this paper, Enjoy the Journey designer series paper, is going to be one of the choices. Now, if you live in Colorado or enjoy camping, <laughs> I would love this for scrapbooking. I purchased the paper because uh, uh, demonstrators get to pre-order things. This is pretty. This would be pretty for any Christmas, um, actually. Um, I purchased it, purchased it because I love the B side, not necessarily the A side. That's really pretty. I hate to cut paper like that, right? This is really pretty too with the pink and the oranges. This is the print that we're using today. Purple Mountain's Majesty. <laughs> anyway, these this is a real pretty um, print too. I'm gonna have to save that and figure out something to use those stars with. But this is going to be available to you along with some other items. Um, on March 1st and it will be online only um, like you can find it in my online store and I will point it out when it when it does become available and um, while supplies last only I found that out yesterday so if there's anything that you like when that comes out um, jump on it that's all I'm saying oh you guys I have made this card. This will be my third time because of this card. I'm counting this one as my, my third. <laughs> I've done this every single time. I forget to um, put the ribbon on underneath before I adhere it down. So I'm going to use this little scraper <laughs> that I have just to lift that up a little bit and tuck some ribbon under there. Now I'm using some retired ribbon. Um, I wanted to kind of pull the green out of there. Hi Debbie, nice to see you. Carol is getting this set next Monday. I finally broke down and got it. 
And I'm, I'm glad I did because I really enjoyed playing with it today. Like I said, I'm not usually a flower person. Um, but I really liked how this worked. Okay, that's probably enough. And I'm going to scooch it down. This is um, just jade. It's a retired one quarter inch cotton ribbon, but you could use whatever you have, even um, um, Baker's twine. Um, and with sketches, like I said, it's always a jumping off point. You could just use a piece of um, cardstock, a different colored cardstock, and just put that across the bottom just for some interest or leave it off completely. I'm going to do a knot. I thought I was going to do a bow, but this ribbon was a little, I did a knot with this one, but it's a lot na more narrow. Um, I think a bow would have looked cute as well on that, but this ribbon is so it's a little thick and I, I don't like the bow to be like, oh, there's a bow. <laughs> Does that make sense? I just like it to show. I don't like it to be like, you know, like when you're wearing um, really bright lipstick and that's the first thing people see. I have a hard time finding lipsticks that it's like, oh, you're wearing lipstick. That's what I'm thinking about this embellishment. I don't want people to say, oh, there's a bow on there. <laughs> I just want it to be um, just, just a little added accent little pair of earrings for the card <laughs> and I put the knot over a little bit I probably should have put it over a little bit more but it's gonna work we'll trim it up and then I'm gonna use a little um, mini glue dot just to hold it down right there or right there there we go oh my sister Stacy says that stars designer series paper would be cute for a space astronaut card for a little boy that would be adorable great idea I'm going to trim these up just a little bit. There we go. So there we go on the ribbon. And now we're going to do um, some more layers. This layer measures four by two and three quarters. This one measures three by, um, no, three and three fourths by five the designer series paper left layer and then I'm going to add this layer of polished pink and what did I say two and three quarters by four and I'm just going to pop it over here on the left hand side now this top layer if you don't have a scallop die um, you would probably just want to cut your um, a piece of basic white because we're gonna do our stamping on this um, at two and a half by three and three three quarters to fit on that um, polished pink layer And I am using these dies from the scalloped contours dies. I I bear I rarely use the flower dies. There is a coordinating stamp set, so you always want to get the coordinating stamp set because you've got the dies. But I use this one all the time, and I use these all the time. 
Okay, but we're going to stamp on this before we glue it down in case we flub up. And I am using the polished pink for the flowers and soft succulent for the leaves. And then for the inside, I've got a little, um, I'm using a tiny bit of Melon Mambo, or Mango Melody, sorry about that, for the um, center of that little image. Let me move these so you guys can see better. All right, I'm going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black ink just to do the outline of the card or the flowers. I was of the impression that I would have to color all these flowers and I'm not one to be patient enough to do much coloring. So what a great surprise to know that there are stamps to fill in Um, I need to re-ink all my ink pads. Normally, you probably wouldn't have to do that much. And I probably wouldn't have to press that hard if they were inked properly. There we go. That would be pretty by itself, really. Where's my card? Isn't that pretty? Just the line drawing? Let's see. And then we're going to put the um, thank you on our inside card, our card insert. And this measures four by five and a four. And I am putting thank you in the black. Kind of right here. And then I had to use the B. <laughs> That little bee is so cute. So um, I thought he could be on the inside of the card just um, kind of flying around. And then our other little flower is this one. I'm telling you, there are so many images on this thing. And wait till you see the little... Um, solid stamps. There's a solid stamp for everything. Okay, so our insert is done. I'm going to set that aside. Oh, no, it isn't done. Never mind. Let's get it done real quick. So I'm using this solid stamp, and these are the distinctive stamps that are a trademark of Stampin' Up. They kind of look like... Um, photographs. I just got to make sure I'm doing it correctly. There we go. That'll probably work better. I think it looks like watercolor. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you can see where it's got light and dark. That paper is in the celebration now. <gasps> Maybe I was wrong. I didn't give you a sneak peek of anything. You're right. That is the celebration, Donna Pollock. <laughs> Thank you. That can be free. Uh, where is that little brochure? You know what? I pulled it out of the box with the other sneak peek stuff, and then I didn't use it. Do, 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 do. Here we go. You are correct. I, it is the Enjoy the Journey. And it's free with a $50 order. So I didn't give you guys a sneak peek of anything. <laughs> it's the additional um, Stampin' Up! Uh, celebration free items. Okay, so there's our insert. I'm going to set it aside. And now we're going to do this one. So we're going to take this solid image. And I'm using polished pink again. And it needs re-inked as well. Anybody else out there hate to re-ink their... Um, ink pads. 
I got ink all over this and I'm afraid I'll get it all over my paper if I don't kind of wipe it off. It's just one of those chores like emptying the dishwasher. <laughs> just re-inking ink pads. <laughs> I don't like re-emptying the dishwasher. Or going to the dishwasher when it's full. Okay, so you just have to kind of, I hope my head's not in the way. Um, it Hover it over though the, the line image and it will fill in all of those. There we go. Carol doesn't enjoy it either. <laughs> I don't think you're lazy, Carol. It's just not a fun task. Okay, and then the leaves. Will fit right over. I love this because I am not one to enjoy coloring in images much. So I love that these stamp, stamps are in the set. Isn't that pretty? And then there's one for this little doodad up here. And I'm going to use the, um, and it even fills in this little stem part, this. Kind of amazing how they did that if you line it up correctly <laughs> there we go see how it filled in all these little um i don't know what you call there flower bases so that's all i'm going to do on that one i'm going to put a gem right there in the middle but i believe there is a stamp in the middle if you didn't want to put a gem there Hi, Candy. Thank you. Stacy doesn't love coloring either. May, may, oh, I doubt that. Coloring is easy. I doubt you're not good at it. Okay, and can you guys believe it? I made a card without any Stampin' Dimensionals at all. <laughs> they always pop something up. And then I grabbed these um, adhesive bag milky, milky dots, and I put this purple one on this one. It's kind of a gray purple. These are kind of white pearly colors. I don't know if it shows on the camera. These are kind of gold, and these are obviously blue. So I'm going to put a yellow one on this one just to be different. So there's the little gem. It fits perfectly on that flower. And then we're going to put this on the inside. And that is the card. Not a lot of effort because the stamps do all the work for you, right? Um, so here's the sketch. Now we didn't do any hearts or any little things, but I just felt like that flower filled up the space and um, I didn't think it was needed. You could probably put maybe a um, like a um, <laughs> soft succulent make some soft succulent hearts and stick on there and that would be cute just in the accent color um, or some sequins but I just felt like it was good enough by itself. Um, I love some of the sayings on this. Um, sending happy thoughts for a feeling better kind of day or sending happy thoughts for a very happy birthday. Um, thank you and you are easy to love and kindness matters. Um, they're, they're smaller um, sized. I don't know if you can tell by the, the stamps. They're smaller sized sentiments, so those are nice when you're trying to squeeze something in there. In fact, I tried to put a tag on the front, and I just I didn't want to cover up that flower. <laughs> 
So anyway, um, Donna loves those stamps. Good to know how they work. Yes, they did all the work for us. I just couldn't believe all of the extras that, that the, the uh, stamps fill in. Did I do the little yellow? I didn't. We'll take some Mango Melody. And there was even a little tiny stamp for the, is it called a stamen? I don't know. There was even a little tiny stamp for this little part of the flower. So you didn't even have to color that in. Oh, and we forgot to put the green part on there. There was even a stamp for that. I just thought it was incredible that they included all these little stamps. You know how when sometimes you've got a flower stamp and it all has to be one color? Um, I thought it was nice that they did that so that, you know, you could use different colors with your, with your images. So that was the surprise that I had from this stamp set. <gasps> Okay, ladies, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad my technology worked this afternoon that I'm on Facebook and the YouTube at the same time. Um, I did want to also mention before I go, um, if you're local to Kansas City, next Thursday, a week from tomorrow, I will be having my Galentine's card party um, here in Lee Summit. There's an afternoon um, session and then there's an evening session or party and we'll be making five cards and having a lot of fun so if you're local there's still room um, since I split the class you know to an afternoon evening I made more space so I would love to have you join us uh, please let me know by Monday or Tuesday if you can come um, you can register on my blog theplaidpoodle.com under the classes uh, tab at the top, click on um, classes, I guess. I don't remember. <laughs> Just go there and you'll find all the information and how to register or contact me and I'd love to help you. Um, also, if you place an order with me during the month of February and use the um, host code, you will receive a free package of for every uh, sequins for everything and they came and I wanted to show you guys I should have made something with them today Did I bring them down? hold on this is what you'll receive it's a very substantial little box it's gonna cost me a fortune in postage um, yeah, I really should have used these. And they're all um, separated by colors. So uh, the red for Valentine's Day, there's the Valentine's Day party that the red ones were used for. Gold for anything. There's some green you could use for um, St. Patrick's Day. The red and green for Christmas. And then here's, they're kind of orangey with some gold. You could use that for your fall projects or just mix them all together and use them for your shaker cards or for um, accenting your, your just any anything. So that is the free gift with the $50 or more purchase during the month of February. Um, be sure and use that host code though because then I'll know that you get the sequins otherwise I won't know. Um, I think that's all the information. I will be back Monday for Make It Monday, and I hope you have a great afternoon and enjoy the Super Bowl. Um, I hope you want the Chiefs to win because they are going to win. Knock on wood. Um, we can talk about it Monday, the commercials and all the things. <laughs> so um, we'll talk to you guys later. I love you all. Um, have a great afternoon and happy stamping.